Hello and welcome to another Dragon Plus live stream coming to you from the Paramount Elemental Plane of Smoke in Renton, Washington. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> welcome back each week on the Dragon Plus live stream. Uh, we look for content in support of each issue of Dragon Plus, available for free as always on iOS, Android, and on dragonmag.com. Uh, issue 21 just dropped uh, last week, and that included our cartoons from the last round of Dungeons and Doodles. So you can find those in there. But we wanted to get back and doodle some more. Joining us this week, we have Stan, Boo! Tyler Jacobson, <laughs> and Sean Wood. <laughs> Tyler, you were here with us on the last doodle session. Yeah, that was fun. So we needed to have you back to do a couple of revisions to some of the doodles. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Understand. Understand. <laughs> Classic Jacobson. <laughs> I'm used to doing revisions. It's okay. I, I believe it was the draft man uh, mm -hmm. needed, uh, yeah. There was a little more, more rippling pecs. Or? It was the nipples. Right. Oh. That was the, the big He needed more nipples. Okay. Do you want them removed? <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that was the, the debate last time. Do they or do they not? Uh, we decided to include them. So. Well, they're mammals, so yeah. yeah. I mean, this is obvious, guys. <laughs> I think we debated <laughs> if, if they had udders or not. Like, if he's the man. Uh, well, what would, and then, well you know, male mammals usually we got into still that territory. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we're already off the track. Uh, no, so once a month, we wanted to get everyone together to do Dungeons and Doodles. So it's been about six weeks now, so we're thrilled to have uh, everyone back. And uh, why don't we jump, we'll jump right into the doodling. Uh, the first one is uh, Parts is Parts. Uh, <laughs> parts is Parts. Spellcasters use all kinds of weird stuff as spell components. Please draw a spellcaster out gathering some extremely bizarre spell component and as a bonus, can you explain what sort of spell it is being used for? Nope. No. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> All right, so strange spell components. Uh, so while our wonderful and illustrious artists are sketching away, again, just to let folks know uh, that uh, we are doo -doo -doo, we are currently in issue 21 of Dragon Plus, which came out uh, midway through last week. This was a bit of our uh, kid-friendly issue, our back-to-school issue. We had some discussions of helping teach Dungeons and Dragons to new and younger players, uh, including a, uh, a shout out to uh, Scott Fitzgerald's Gray has a adventure out in the wild as well. The Hidden Halls of Hezekor, uh, which also got picked up uh, either today or yesterday on geekdad.com. So congratulations to, uh, to Scott Fitzgerald Gray, does a lot of great uh, design and development work for some of our uh, mechanical features in Dragon Plus. So thanks to Scott. We also had interviews with Matthew Lillard at uh, Beetle and Grimm's in regards to their Platinum Edition of Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Uh, interviews with Kyle Balda of uh, Minions, of course, and we included, speaking of stat blocks, we included his uh, version of a D&D Minion Stat it up for 5th edition for use in your game as an adversary or potential, I suppose, minion as well. Uh, and as mentioned, uh, since this is the Dragon Plus live stream, we wanted to uh, tie the content in as much as possible. So this week is our, our uh, illustration. Uh, the cartoons did appear in the cartoons section of issue 21, along with Jason Thompson's uh, adventure, Six Faces of Death. Jason Thompson at uh, Machman, Machman Press. Uh, he <laughs> we asked him to do a, uh, a cartoon map, and he over-delivered with a 50-page uh, oh adventure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> to accompany said uh, said map uh, in support of uh, Mordecai's Tome of Foes, he was sort nice. of bringing in a lot of monsters and just uh, went with it and uh, did a uh, did an adventure. Uh, we also looked at uh, several products in the works, including a bit of a preview from Waterdeep Dragon Heist, uh, Gale Force 9's Vault of Dragons, uh, Art and Arcana, Visual History, uh, Beetle and Grimm, uh, as mentioned before, and uh, lots of other things in the works. ABCs of D&D, of, of the 1-2-3s of D&D, also right around the corner. 
and I don't believe it was in this issue, but speaking of products out today, also Adventures Outlined, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures Outlined, uh, the coloring album from, uh, from Todd James. And uh, with descriptions from D&D's Adam Lee. So look for that. As well, yes. So the is adventure that, is that out today. That is oh, out yeah. today, August twenty first. Uh, the adventure mentioned. I saw that in chat. Six Faces of Death. You can find that in issue twenty one of Dragon Plus. Just look for Dragon Plus on iOS, on Android, and at dragonmag.com uh, for free. The adventure's for free, and you can download it at any time. That Jason Thompson thing was really awesome. He is a uh, yes. He is a, a clever, uh, creative individual. Uh, this is a little bit behind the scenes, but uh, <laughs> every once in a while, my, my job is to ruin fun as, <laughs> as editor. And so when the, uh, when, the, um, when the jokes are just on the side of risque, it's my job to be the, the, the buzzkill and uh, to rope it back into PG. I'm PG. trying to say we can't do any risque jokes <laughs> on this particular stream. We've already warned Sean Wood ahead of time about <laughs> that. So we'll Can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess, it's in the name. I guess we're alive, too. What am I going to tackle the, uh, the clipboard right out of your, uh, your head? So, uh, again, for the first... <laughs> the, the beauty of live television. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the first question, uh, our artists are working on parts as parts. Spellcasters using all kinds of weird stuff as spell components. They are drawing a spellcaster gathering some extremely bizarre spell component and uh, possibly explaining what sort of spell it is being used for. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, will jump ahead to the next question. Uh, this is. Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. While you're drawing that, draw something else. No, uh, I'll jump ahead to the next question insofar as we're looking for nominations for monsters from, uh, from chat. Uh, so I won't spoil the question yet, but if you do have a suggestion for a monster that you would like one of our fabulous artists to tackle in the next question, please throw it into uh, chat. We'll, uh, I'll collect them here, and uh, we'll, give, we'll give them a, a choice of, uh, of monsters to, uh, to consider drawing. Uh, the right. carving next to me. I don't know who did the carving mm. next to me. Done. It was, it was a, uh, it was a nice too. All right. Manning the boards, as always, the illustrious Pelham. Uh, Yay, Pelham! Who will be scrambling back and forth each and every live stream, collecting drawings as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Whoa. I don't know if the camera can see it. Put it there. <laughs> you should sign it, everyone. Don't forget. Ah, existing or new monsters? Well, uh, fair question. Uh, I was thinking existing monsters just for ease of reference so they would know, but if you had a suggestion for, uh, uh, for something that would be uh, easily uh, communicated, by all means, feel free to suggest one of those so for, like, as a silver well. Uh, uh, Woohoo! All right, Stan, what are we looking He's, at He's uh, gathering some Tarrasque saliva. <laughs> Aww. It's Little little guy with a flask down there, the thrash mouth, trying to scoop it in while he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that as a uh, spell. Yeah, that's from, uh, from an actual adventure. It makes some kind of <sighs> giant affecting uh, sleep spell. I don't know. Oh, fine. Um, yeah, he's collecting beetle butts. Nice. <laughs> For what spell? Um, it's like a they're glowing beetle butts, so it. Um, he can basically like rub the beetle butt juice all over him and glow in the dark. Oh. All right. You know, I used to do that as a kid with fireflies. I did that with fireflies as well. <laughs> we were terrible I'm children. Murdered. You are terrible children. Horrible. 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 You wonder why there isn't any fireflies anymore? It wasn't. It's not global warming. It's because me and Tyler killed them all. Yeah. <laughs> and we looked. It was like Predator. Everybody. It looked like Predator. <laughs> did it actually work? Yeah. This is a horrible science experiment, but did it? Yeah. it did oh, yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. It will glow. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. You just have to murder a lot like of bugs. We, like, yeah, it's not good. Well, I was I was in Chicago last summer. It was the first time in years that I had seen fireflies fly, blowing around. But so, who so are we looking at here? So this is a wizard. He's going to gather tinsel from the um, very rare holiday tree because he's going to cast Tinsel's floating disc. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. No. Goodness. Is that not allowed? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a pun free zone? Really? No, 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 no that's you. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. You, you do you, man. <laughs> we have a mascot fill up the hallway just from the puns. So it's a, it's a pun filled. Uh, oh, well, zone. there you go. Well, now you have a Tinsel's floating disc. But it's, it's still the obligatory uh, <laughs> groan. Yeah. I think that a good pun, if it doesn't get a groan, it it, it dies sad. Yes. Dies sad. Yeah. So it, it might be uh, right. oh. tera whether it's Tarask saliva or uh, beetle butts beetle or uh, tinsel. From the holiday tree. From the holiday tree. Super rare holiday tree. Yeah. Super rare. It, it really was a small tree. <laughs> right. That holiday tree. Yeah, they're kind of like, you know, it's like uh, when Daniel son went to go get the tree mm -hmm. from Karate Kid 2. Right. I've yet to see Karate Kid 2. We were we had a we had a, oh, a yeah. really? three. Wait, wait, that was three. Was Sorry, three. it was three. It was in the whole it was, <laughs> a, it was the well thing in the coast. He had to go down there to get it. We yeah. had a we had a vicious movie debate. I won't get into uh, it'll it'll sidetrack anything. Uh, so again, thank you for uh, for for breaking the ice with our first uh, doodle question. Parts is parts. The next question again. If you had a suggestion for a monster, uh, please throw it in the chat. I'll start reading the question and uh, collecting some of, there's always oh, Philip the hallways in the, uh, in the uh, screen right now. Guy is representing. <laughs> 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 so any monsters for this question, heads will fly. And uh, this is a uh, pun-filled zone. It's also a mispronunciation zone because I cannot pronounce. You can do it. You can do it. We believe you. You can do it. Heads will fly. Question number two, a Varguil. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Uh, put it all together. Say it quickly. Yeah. Vargul. Vargul. <laughs> well, this might explain what it is. Has a head, has a body, sorry, has a body like a severed human head with bat like wings and there poison you go. ears. Uh, <laughs> however, a penangolin. Mm, mm, yeah, no, that's good. A penangolin. Yeah. Penangolin. Yeah. Is penguin. a vampire penguin. that can detach its head and send it flying around with entrails hanging from its neck. I love the fact that there's there's both of these creatures have existed in Dungeons and Dragons. And I love the fact that they think entrails are connected anyway to your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually, yeah. <laughs> eventually, they I all suppose, connect. I suppose. Uh, well, so not only were we delighted that both monsters exist in the game, we think there's room for more. So we're looking for a new monster to join the flying severed head squad. Uh, and we're asking for some options for what those might be. Uh, we've got a few coming in already. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. This is going to be good. I'll, I'll read them out. If there's one that you want to tackle or there's one that you've got on uh, in mind for yourself, the feel free. The Grell is already a floating head. <laughs> well, the, in, in, their def <laughs> in, in defense of the topic, I was uh, thrown out before I mentioned it was a floating head. Nothing against Grell. I love Grell. Uh, we've got uh, <laughs> a Nothic, a Phase Spider, the Grell, a Ware Platypus, Gif, uh, which is... You want to go back to the platypus again? <laughs> The platypuses are just a go great go-to monster. A baby gif, which is somehow different from a gif, Ugh. but horrible. Uh, an <laughs> abolith, a unicorn. Uh, just a regular unicorn? Yes. Floating unicorn but head. Oh. You guys can do better. We didn't think this question through fully here, because now these are all, uh, these are going to be all horrible uh, creations. Flail snail. Now, see, that, that's not so bad. All that's right. pretty good. Sounds like you're taking the flail snail. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> sure. I will take the flail snail. I'm going to take the unicorn. Uh-oh. What am I left with? Uh, if you, so you, you, you want the unicorn, so you can have it. Or the bum holder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No, that one's already floating ahead. <laughs> Rot grub. Sea hag. Uh, Bullywug. Another vote for Gif. Oh, Kate, Kate Welch is voting for baby Gif. Kate Welch, that's a horrible suggestion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> A baby gif. Yeah. All right. That uh, yeah, has to be done, though. What's, what, can we call it a gif just for... Uh, 
ESRB I mean, purposes here. I don't remember here. what a GIF looks like. It's a hippo. It's a hippo. <laughs> it's a hippogriff. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just a oh, hippo. Oh, the brand. Can't, can't talk about magic. We're not allowed to talk no, about no, magic. No, no, we've got we've our hippogriffs, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a GIF <laughs> is a, a hippo that somehow wears like naval uniforms right. and carries a blunderbuss. So this so one's just going to be the head of one. Right, so. so it can't look like a hippo. It has to look like a hippo. Or a, a GIF. A GIF, right. Can you distinguish a, <laughs> a floating hippo I head look up. from a floating GIF head? There's got to be a baby, though, so. It doesn't. I'm, I'm vetoing It's horrible, and I'm vetoing that. <laughs> yeah. it's not, it's not Kate Welsh, it is not a baby. She, you know, she's she's down the hall screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Make it up, baby! <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I, th I was going to uh, nominate the one that you previewed for me the other day in an upcoming product. What was that? Uh, oh, yeah, you can't say that. I know. You can ask Perkins if he <laughs> wants to leak it. <laughs> Uh, heads will fly. This is the question that was coming in. A Vargbol has a body like a severed human head with bat-like wings in place of ears. It's just science. A Penangolin is a vampire that can detach its head and send it flying around with entrails hanging from its neck. I got to believe that one, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but I got to believe that one came out or derived from world mythology and something. Penangolin, way, yeah, right? I think it's uh, uh, Thai, huh. somewhere in South, Southeast Asia. Uh, so the Penangolin has entrails, the Vargul has uh, bat-like wings. So I guess, yeah, it doesn't have to be entrails sticking out. <laughs> it just has to be a version. It doesn't have to be? It has to join the flying severed head squad. It has to be a severed head, it has yeah. to be flying. I Anything else is up to us, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Uh, speak, uh, yeah, the, the uh, Penangolin I remember from the Fiendfolia, I can't begin to explain the disgust I had at a lot of those the, the interest slash disgust I had in a lot of those monsters as a kid yeah. they were horrible but I couldn't look I away like Penangolin was one of them it's old pen, but it's good <laughs> I was gonna. I was about to go and drag our movie themes back in just to get people excited and say, <laughs> horrible I couldn't look away yeah. like Willow Whatever the hell who's, who's, is. who's gonna defend it? Is this gonna show up? What we're yeah, using yeah, it? yeah, it's, we're it's committed good. now. It's that, good. Good. Well, that might be another answer for Mr. Wood. That was the debate we had right before we went live. What's that? What is the best fantasy oh, movie? No, 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 no. I will get so much hate mail if you out me on this. <laughs> it's true. So I'm not no, saying I'm what not. Si I'm not saying what side you came down <laughs> on. I'm just I'm asking between this period and this period, what would be the yeah, best? Yeah. So movie? the best movie before. Fellowship, but after Willow. What is the best fantasy movie? If you can even find one. See, now you're leaning into the. Uh, yeah, the well, thing. I got it. After I got Willow and before this. Fellowship of the Ring, the best fantasy movie. So just specific time. And we're going to make Pelham watch yeah. it. Mm. <laughs> we're going to make Pelham Because Bob's already hasn't seen it yet. Mm, that's don't do that's it. the advantage for you, Pelham. It'll be on the clock. You get paid for it. <laughs> Uh, so yes, kind of going back to Dragon Plus, I did want to uh, call out uh, Six Faces of Death, uh, the adventure for folks that are interested in playing a dark fantasy for characters 11th to 13th level. That's turned out really An alien being, uh, sorry, an alien being, dark omens and vanishing ships send the adventurers to a mysterious island, newly appeared in the Sea of Swords. Can the characters uncover the mysteries of the changing island in time to save Faroon from a terror from another plane? Again, this was uh, Jason Bradley Thompson's adventure, edited and developed by Scott Fitzgerald Gray, appearing in this issue of Dragon Plus, uh, along with doo -doo -doo, uh, Kyle Balda, and uh, I don't know, oh, we're not on camera now, but I'm, I'm holding up a uh, printout of uh, his minions. Uh, we we statted them out as uh, challenge uh, <laughs> challenge rating one half, small humanoid, chaotic neutral, which seems uh, which seems appropriate as well. Uh, so you can you can download these guys. One of the one of the better days I've had at work was debating with Kyle Balda if one of the minions' powers should be called fart or fart gun. So uh, some they're not evil. No, the, no. This this was uh, his his uh, his take was they certainly serve the strongest evil they can find, but they themselves right, so which are, makes them pretty neutral. They're so. pretty neutral. Uh, they uh, they uh, are chaotic, but well, uh, wouldn't if they are constantly trying to serve. 
They Wouldn't just that make work. them lawful? They just want to work. Right, mm. that would make them lawful. They have their own solo. Ooh. I'm taking, yeah, them, I'm taking right. this up to Merle's. Allow me to rebut, quiet you. Because <laughs> 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 it's, oh. it's oh, printed. Oh, stinging response <laughs> from Bart. Because <laughs> it's already printed. <laughs> Obviously didn't run by this by the R&D team. <laughs> We had, we had our chaotic, <laughs> they've got to be, they're chaotic uh, with um, with their own uh, set of uh, strange standards. I don't know. You mean lock, their own locks, right? All right, we're looking at stands. All right. Stan, what are we looking at? We got a flying mounted unicorn. <laughs> the, like off the that, wall, it's just kind of flying around. You know, <laughs> I was, I it may was, not be good, but it was fast. No, no. I, I here's here's where I would lean into it. If you look in the monster manual about animated armor or yeah. things like that, animated objects, it's not just armor. They, right. they, it's called out specifically. It could be kind of any object. Who knows? So if you're going through a castle and right. an animated mounted unicorn head just comes off the comes wall, off and the starts, wall yes, comes at you. There you go. I uh, that would be a pretty uh, be a pretty good. Uh, yeah, little unexpected trap. Isn't there like flying unicorn heads in Zelda? <laughs> there like are now in uh, Dungeons and Doodles. <laughs> and now in Dungeons and Doodles. Oh, as, as mentioned in chat, that unicorn looks pretty happy to be dead. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> the unicorn, they, they, they make the best of life and death. It's <laughs> true. Uh, we've got some suggestions. You can shoot it, these down. Taxidermy is go. magic. <laughs> He's just <laughs> so happy to be mounted. Thirteenth uh, Warrior. Hmm? Hook. I like the Thirteenth Warrior. Thirteenth Army warrior. of Darkness. Oh yeah, the best. Uh, Don't get me started I'll give you, I'll give you Army stuff. of Darkness. I give you that one. You won't give him Thirteenth Warrior. Thirteenth Warrior I'll was the to, best D and D it. movie. It's it's a party. Oh, I, I go look through it. It's a, for a long time. It was the best D and D movie. Good there. movie. Yeah. I'll it have was, to watch uh, it again. It was Dragonheart. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. I didn't like that, so. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, chat. Well, I'm sorry you hate fun. <laughs> <laughs> was it fun? <laughs> it, it had, I, no, I don't know. The only scene I remember was them re repeating the um, Star Wars as if it was an original stage play to the kids and taking credit for it. I thought that was pretty well done. What? Are we talking about the same movie now? Isn't that the... Dragon, uh... Dragonheart's one with Sean Connery as last yeah. Sean Connery does the, the voice of oh, dragons. No. Yeah. Dragon. I'm thinking of, uh... Oh, God, you're thinking the of fire. The, oh, my gosh, yeah, you're thinking of uh, oh, well, the, the one Rain with... of Fire. Rain, Rain of Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was good, too. Or maybe I'm thinking a of a... Hokey, good accent. Yeah, you got a yeah. flying hippo head. Maybe I'm thinking of a cutscene that goes... Yeah, I like there. those wings. Those are... <laughs> <laughs> classic. So All right. Did I get a gift? Did I nail it? We got it. Yeah. I don't know. We got a couple more let, coming in. We'll let the people decide. <laughs> <laughs> There's the people's elbow, and now the people's <laughs> decision. Stubborn, <laughs> stubborn head decision. Who are we looking at here, or what? This is a, a, a flying gif head. I think that's my favorite drawing you've ever done. Decapitated gif head with butterfly wings, yeah. though. It's, can, we, can you do me a version of the, of the DM's guide with that head instead of a Sarawax head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't use I can use Photoshop. All right. I may have painted that in Photoshop. So, yeah. yeah. So, this too might be coming to a monster manual near you. Mm -hmm. a, uh, a special uh, edition. Penangolin GIF. And last but not least, Sean. What are yeah. we looking at here? It's, it's, it's the, like, it's a wheel for bitten snail, flail snail thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say very Cthulhu-esque here. That would be that would be slightly horrible to have coming at you. Is it is it snail sized? Oh no! Is no, it flail it's snail? It's flail snail size. I, sh I should have put some scale birds in. Oh yeah, scale. Mm. Sorry guys. Next time I will do it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking Bring too as I finished. Like I should have had that that happy unicorn buzzing somewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I feel like mm -hmm. I could have had an action shot of it getting somebody pummeling with flying flail snail flails. We still well, a lot of choices on these fantasy movies too. I thought I don't know if all the years pan out because it was after Willow. Right, so it's got to be like 1988 on on. So Conan I think was before. That's, yeah, that's way, way before. Troll was before. Way before. Yeah. 
Uh, and Kroll shouldn't be on the list. Don't talk about Kroll. <laughs> <laughs> you can disconnect Colin. your microphone. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love Colin. Doesn't know anything. I love. I love Glaives <laughs> as much as everybody. Glaives. <laughs> Glaives are the best. <laughs> yeah, they're a really practical, useful weapon. <laughs> See. Yeah. But wait, wait. This, this le legend was before that, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, I want to say. That was one of my favorite. Yeah, favorite fantasy movies. Great fantasy movies. All right. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for round number two. Uh, we're already at half past the hour. How'd that happen? Uh, so we'll jump into question number three. Time uh, flies when you do them. <laughs> uh, nobody likes me. Everyone hates me. But on to question number three. No, nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Normally, a spawn of Caius is a zombie filled with worms. However, green worms. Green with green worms. With green worms. Oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> if, however, if Caius was on a recruitment drive for followers, what else might he use to fill his spawn with, if not worms? Would you like me to take this to the chat? Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> I currently can't think of anything. So All right, really? the chat do it. Let's ask for your suggestions then. If you might be familiar with the spawn of Caius, it's kind of a zombie-looking thing filled with green worms. Uh, however, what else could you fill a zombie-looking thing with? I if know. Not worms. Is it a zombie or a zombie looking? Uh, it's, 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 it's very time. zombie, but yeah. it's you know it's very a zombie looking. Lot of lot of bone be, showing through. Mm -hmm. It's if you're going through a dungeon and you, you see a guy in the distance, right? And and you know like, oh, it's a dude. He's in the dungeon. He must need help. And you get a little closer. It's like, oh, that's a zombie. Ooh. But whatever. Challenge oh. rating. Challenge rating a quarter. This isn't a big deal, right? Good for your eyesight. And of then and then you get really close to him, and then he shambles up to you, and then he explodes in slimy green worms, and they're all over you, and now you're a spawn curse, right? Mm. It's a gotcha moment. Mm. Deal. Deal. And not that. And then your players will never trust zombies again. Ever. Why would they have trusted zombies in the first place? Um, because they killed like a billion of them in the earlier campaign. It's very trustworthy. So. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, as before, I'll, I'll start reading out some of these fine suggestions. Thank you to Chad as well for participating. Uh, and if any of them jump to uh, your interest, just uh, grab them and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, I'm thinking Princess Mononoke is an answer to the movie question and not to this question. Oh, yeah. But... Uh, we've got <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would, it'd be hard to stuff Princess Mononoke inside it. Okay, live action. But I, I don't want to. There are lots of good animated. <laughs> no, films. No, I don't want to make a yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go through all the good anime films from the late '80s to early '90s, I'd be happy to have that. Conversation. Record of uh, Lotus War. We don't want to go into that conversation. But we have uh, for Spawn of Kite, We've got Rot Grubs, Bats, Ravens, Spiders. Then we diverge a little. Pumpkin Spice, Cheetos. Scarabs, Chex Mix, Snakes, Cheetos. Slugs, uh, Spaghetti, Marshmallows. It's either, it's either a creepy monster I'm noticing or food. Or food. Yeah. Uh, sentient Marshmallows. Uh, mm. Snakes, Spiders, Small Horses, Churros. Small Horses. So I, I am I'm going off on my small, own because small horses. I've got a, I figured out a way to do a zombie Churches. that my wife will actually like. Gr All right. Gravy. <laughs> nothing, nothing against the chat. But you, trust me, you'll see it. You'll, you'll go along with me on this. It's going to work. Uh, ooh, unop unopened coin-operated toy dispenser bobbles from the grocery store entrance. Do you know how much money I've spent on those? <laughs> what were you after when you were spending? Uh, whatever my kid, tattoo whatever my kid <laughs> decided he needed immediately and had never played with ever again. You need to take him to Japan so you can use the gotcha machines. Oh, oh gotcha, gotchas. Yeah. Oh, All yeah. kinds of great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, uh, dare I ask what's in those machines? Literally, like, oh, just tons of toys, toys and little, like, random egg bubbles. Ah, yeah. yes. Well, like, everything from, like, dinosaurs to cat hats. Yeah, all of it. I well, went to a sushi place in Japan where every time you finished your plate, you plopped it into, like, a giant coin slot. Yeah. And then it gave you toys. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And That's pretty good. great. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the... Sushi and toys? Yeah. The gotcha machine, I'd just be standing there throwing wads of cash at it. My, my uh, child would still be craving more. Corn dog, we still, uh, are we all, have you guys uh, yeah. selected? I yeah, but yet. keep reading them I out because yeah. I'm, I'm going to finish this one fast. Uh, so some other uh, outstanding suggestions, and as always, thank you, chat, for uh, helping out. 
Uh, we've got. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Did you say corn dogs a second ago? Corn dogs. Okay. Corn dogs. I've Cats. Decided. Packing I want that peanuts. <laughs> I love <laughs> corn dogs. Yeah, Titus never had a corn dog before. What? Yeah. Well, he's from the Netherlands. Yeah. Awesome magic artist, Titus. Is he missing out on a lot, though? He, he thought he did. Yeah, he, he was didn't know what a corn dog was. He's missing out on a ton. But does he have to eat it? I don't <laughs> know. He did. I, I bought him corn dogs. He loved it. Yeah. There's, I think. There's some fair food. <laughs> 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 he was just humoring you. Yeah, this is Maybe. great and really delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we also had uh, vanilla ice cream and Nutella, which sounds delicious. Golden margaritas, uh, porcupines. Yeah. Now um, I have to admit that if if uh, he has did put that all that stuff in a zombie, he'd get more followers. Like they they'd be all over it. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the margarita zombie's coming through town again. <laughs> well, what you need, you, you put that one out first, the adventurers attack it and start collecting whatever's inside. And then that's when the other zombies come, come, uh, come from It's a the trap. Town. It is. It's a great trap. Uh, gift chunks. Black pudding. Butterflies. Aw, oh, see, now I like, I like the story that you went with there. Butterflies, the spawn of Caius took too long to infect people, and, <laughs> the, and the worms inside of it That's grew up. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's good storytelling. Mm -hmm. I like that. No, no, I, need, I was going to use the pen. No, you can use, <laughs> I need to find a point. We have one good pen here to work with. Oh, no, do you need another pen? <laughs> oh, we're fine. Is this the, the Stygian witches of uh, Dungeons and Doodles? I'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. What? They have like the one eye between them and they have to share it. Oh, oh yeah, gotcha. like the from Clash S of the Titans. Speaking yeah. of good Thrones. fantasy movies. Yeah. That was um the old one. Ray uh, That is a personal favorite of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Harryhausen. Harry 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 yeah. Every Harryhausen movie's great. Well, that's probably not true, but a lot of them. No, are. they're all great. Okay. Stick with that. All right. We'll stick with that. Okay. Uh gummy worms, gummy bears. I like so, so, so they've so this I'm, is I've been working on gummy worms quietly and someone <laughs> someone went and typed it in. Look at that. Can't go. fool the chat room. I also like uh, all my dead character sheets just spilling out. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. A zombie full of sturges. That would be a good trap. I like that. We did that. Tomb Annihilation. Did we? Yeah. Isn't like there a Tyrannosaurus? Oh no, that's a Tyrannosaurus filled with zombies. zombies. That's right. It barfs zombies. But oh, that's right. I forgot. Sorry, guys. It poops sturges. Little did, little did anyone know. <laughs> We're completely unaware. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, again, while our uh, illustrious artists are hard at work, just a couple other announcements I'll get through as we go uh, through the day. Uh, Greg Tito is not in today. He is performing his civic duty at uh, a jury today. Oh. Uh, I suppose if he's selected or not. So uh, we will not be doing d, d News. However, we will be doing Dice Camera Action as always at 4 p.m. Pacific. Can't you do the news? I'm sort of am now. <laughs> 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 that was our uh, <laughs> that was our uh, our uh, decision here. I would just uh, roll through a couple of news and announcements, including uh, yes, D and D adventures outlined available now. Waterdeep Dragon Heist, our next adventure coming to Core Hobby release on September seventh, and wide release on September eighteenth. Uh, Dragon Plus, the current issue, we did do a quick peek inside Waterdeep Dragon Heist. We had a couple of PDF downloads of material, uh, including some of the friendly faces of the Yawning Portal, some of the code legal of the city of Waterdeep. And uh, speaking of Jason Thompson, he created a cartoon uh, map of the inside of the Yawning Portal Tavern, uh, which included uh, I'm looking at the keyed version now. We put in the unkeyed version into Dragon Plus. Uh, 85 uh, numbered characters in the Yawning Portal. Uh, when you get the book um, in September, it'll have the key to who all of them are uh, in the very back of the book. 
But if you wanted to take a sneak peek in advance and try your hand at guessing who some of them are, uh, that uh, unkeyed version is in Dragon Plus right now. Although I am looking at the keyed version, I'll give you some. I'll give you some hints. Uh, speaking of dice camera action, I believe all of their characters are hidden throughout the yawning portal uh, in various places. Uh, as well as uh, some new ones from the adventure, but a, a lot of uh, a lot of returning characters as well. So uh, yes, uh, please feel free to to download a, a look at the Oni portal if you have guesses. Uh, we'd love to see them on, uh, on on Twitter as well. Do -do -do. All right, this was question number three. Nobody likes me, everyone hates me. A spawn of Caius is a zombie filled with worms. If Caius was on a recruitment drive for followers, what else might he fill, he fill his spawn? Stan. Gummy worms. It's gummy. a gummy gummy spawn of Caius. Nice. Kid friend. Mm, yeah, this was our kid friendly right. back to school issue. <laughs> That's, right. That's good stuff. <laughs> that is. And, uh, All so the kids love the gummy spawn of Caius. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so oh man, corn dogs. So yes, a uh, shout out to whoever suggested gummy worms. You guessed what stands. They, yep, to. they win. They win. They win that big gummy kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's my pin. We're done. <laughs> I told you it's a good pin. Tyler, what did you fill your spawn of corn with? dogs? That's oh, so beautiful. Yeah. It's somehow more disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> they just never <laughs> <they're all laughs> <laughs> pushed in, stick out. It's <laughs> that's uh, yeah. When you come away from the uh, the state fair. That's uh, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking a, a spawn of Caius filled with fondue would be good. Everyone stick stand around, <laughs> oh, and just <laughs> tripping out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna think of fair food the same way again. Yeah. <laughs> we got Sean's. So it's filled with kittens and tiny birds. Aww. Aww. See. Everyone would love him. Everyone would love him. It's a wonderful sound. But the problem is, is if you get cursed by it, then you spew kittens and tiny birds. Wow. Yeah. Is that bad? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to carefully excise the spawn of, to get the kittens and tiny birds oh, safely no, they, out? They, they, they just burst out. right out of you. Okay. Like yeah. alien. Yeah, but you know how cats, they land. Like yeah. No, it's like, pew. Pew. throw a whole bag of little kittens <laughs> yeah, and they right. all land on their feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Birds coming out of your like eye socket, little kitten digging out of your ear hole. So in the next adventure, you <laughs> might face one of these creatures: a <laughs> spawn of Caius filled with gummy worms, uh, corn dogs, or uh, kittens. You're seeing and birds. a therapist, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is called art therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like. I like that the theme was uh, happy things to fill a zombie with in a, in a way. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We d we did not go with. Uh, it's yeah. an easy gimmick. <laughs> the bats or uh, scarabs or snakes, the, the scary things. So, yeah. All right. Well, he's on a recruitment drive, right? That's yeah. true. Yeah. Who All would right. want a whole bunch of fresh, warm corn dogs out <laughs> of a right. zombie's belly? <laughs> I mean, if they were good. Like you get like a, fried, yeah. like you get like really a mustard like elemental <laughs> going alongside him. <laughs> <and> you're <laughs> mustard <laughs> elemental? <laughs> what, are the, wait, the, you, what are the... Never mind. <laughs> so, somebody in D and D will host like a dinner party and have sort of a fake. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's like the the great. If British you do that, show. send pictures in. Yeah, and make them the little corn dogs. So I like those more than the regular ones. Yeah, I guarantee Masmita can are. pull that off. Yeah. She may be doing it already. She, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's move on to question oh, four. Another one. Oh, oh, here we go. And we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need. Uh, I think this is really all random materials. Random materials from chat. This is infinite elements and ridiculous combinations. The multiverse is a big place. Infinity, a word that the all universe. artists like to hear. <laughs> right, that's good. Go Draw. Go. <laughs> Draw. <it. laughs> so what we need is like ideas for what random random. Uh, Demi planes of stuff. Yes, this is a multiverse, is a big place filled with para elemental planes. More strange and exotic than most adventurers can imagine. Not all, but most. 
Summoners and artificers are always experimenting with new materials from which to construct their creature. Uh, make a drawing of an elemental or a golem made of blank. And uh, so, again, if you've got an idea for a material you would like to make an elemental or a golem out of, or uh, we'll throw it to, uh, to chat I'll, as well. I'll let chat do this one since I robbed them of their <laughs> <laughs> scarabs. And, I'm, uh, I'm not going to try and outguess the chat this time. We're going to give them a chance. And again, uh, thank you for uh, suggestions as always. Something, uh, an element, a new elemental or golem would be made out of uh, that hasn't been made before. And uh, we will... Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 what was that one? Yeah, yeah. What was that one? <laughs> uh, it wasn't naughty. I was just trying to figure out how you would do a planes on a snake uh, element. Oh, because it's elemental planes. Oh, yeah. We get puns. It. So puns. An uh, apparent elemental plane of puns as well. Uh, we also. Have I did. I did a comic of that once. Did snakes you? Snakes on a plane. Snakes on a plane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on an snakes, elemental snakes plane. Snakes on a apparent elemental plane. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, <laughs> Mountain Dew. Or Doritos, uh, the mustard elemental. Got to draw that Mountain Dew logo a lot. I don't know. That's what? a challenge. That's this is Palums, <laughs> pa mustard elementals all the way down. Planes on a snake. Tart berries from the Feywild, Wild. Uh, duct tape. Marshmallow. Uh, the bacon plane of bliss. Pop rocks. Mayonnaise. The elemental plane of Legos. Uh, small horses. That's that's been another uh, theme. I, I think I've seen in a couple of these. Is small horses. Uh, cup of noodles. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> Jawbreakers. Is noodles. chat hungry? Does <laughs> chat <laughs> need to go eat? Is it is it dinner time out there in Chatland? <laughs> it might be on the uh, chat need to order pizza? on the on the East Coast. We are getting close to six p.m. So I think that we might be going there. So this is a, yeah either a, a, a golem or an elemental from these planes or made of things you know of this uh, material, pollen, uh, the elemental plane of ramen, peanut butter, <laughs> floral right. pattern fabric, cardboard, broken toys, uh, a knee golem, uh, flumps from Obo oh, Crazy of course, flumps also one of our favorite, yarn, uh, rubber, elemental plane of slinkies. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, oh, I've chosen. Jello so. shots with ground glass. That's uh, wow. a, a yawning portal tavern based. Oh, it's a it's a tavern based mimic. Uh, all right, all right. I can see the I can see uh, that one uh, in in, this, just in some uh, evil tavern somewhere. He's putting cotton candy. I yeah went to the zoo this weekend. Cotton candy is uh, also something a small child asks for constantly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just traumatized by all these things. <laughs> I, I I think as an adult, I've I've come to realize what actually goes into this food I wanted also to eat as a child, and just to watch him consume it as fast as possible is <laughs> disturbing in a great many ways. Green Perkins brand, Green Flame Alchemist's Fire. Uh, bees. That would also be a good thing to fill a uh, spawn of Caius with. He's covered in bees. I, I do like a, it's a British golem, so it's filled with tea and crumpets. <laughs> it is tea and crumpets. <laughs> Rubik's Cubes, uh, Chocolate Fondue, Power Tools. Power Tools, uh, a golem could be a pretty... Uh, uh, sulfur, coffee, dice, plutonium. Plutonium. Pu, not plutonium. <laughs> Are you sure? That's something different. That's, <laughs> that's something. <laughs> that's that's something. after a night of eating spicy food. Uh, the next wow. day. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Take it next level there. This I had is to a define, very once it was out there, I, had to fi I was uh, obligated to define what plutonium could be. But uh -huh. it could be, not what it is. Uh, socks. So many good suggestions. We need to do, we'll do a, uh, we'll, we'll do this for, uh, for Dragon Plus. For, next, for, for, uh, for the next issue of Dragon Plus, it's coming out in October. We like to compile the Dungeons and Doodles doodles so you can download them 
at your leisure. Uh, we'll, we'll compile some of these awesome uh, suggestions into a, uh, into a table as well, because uh, these are, are too good not to use. Uh, Lost Socks is a mysterious plane. Uh, oh. <laughs> the plane of D&D playtesters. It's a sad place. They are it's a good place. hard at work. Just right. Rolling dice. Just tons and tons of dice and torn up character sheets. Exactly. Yeah, I would assume that the plane, that kind of plane was just dice. Like you couldn't really walk. Right. It's just walking it's on dice. It's four-sided dice. It's like a <laughs> hell. <laughs> uh, while everyone is working, I'll get through uh, a few more things for D&D news. Uh, we do have uh, Extra Life. Our charity endeavors have kicked off this year. We started with uh, Founders and Legends, our live stream event that took place a couple of weeks ago uh, with, uh, with Luke Gygax down in Los Angeles. Uh, so thank you everyone who has already contributed. It goes to a uh, very worthy cause for the uh, Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Uh, if you're not familiar with Extra Life, uh, Traditionally, uh, historically, they've done 24-hour marathon game sessions on their Extra Life game day. Uh, it's, it's sort of evolved over time, I think, to sort of however folks want and can participate have at it. Uh, so we've, we've sort of picked a couple of dates, a couple of events throughout the year. Uh, Extra Life at Founders and Legends was just one of them. Uh, we will continue here at uh, Wizards of the Coast. Extra Life game day for 2018 is November 3rd. Uh, so we will be looking to live stream some games here on that day, Saturday, November 3rd. Uh, D20 Dames will be involved, Adam Lee, Chris Lindsay, uh, and uh, many other folks. Last year, uh, Extra Life Day was uh, the same time as Gamehole Con weekend, and so we sort of grouped them all together. This year, Gamehole Con is the following weekend, so we thought we would sort of continue things through. Uh, starting on November 3rd, we would do some live stream games here at Wizards of the Coast. But then all that week, uh, look at uh, partnering, partnering with our live streamers to uh, uh, dedicate some of their games to, to the effort uh, to Extra Life during that week. And then culminating again at Gamehole Con, which takes place November 8th through the 11th in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, some of the games there will be led by Mike Merles, Chris Perkins. I believe Stefan Picorni will be running a game as well. Uh, and uh, details to come. Uh, we'll get uh, individual pages up for the Dungeon Masters so that they can get their uh, threshold and incentive rewards listed. Uh, for that week, uh, Stan, I think I already sent you the invitation. We were planning on maybe doing a Dungeons and Doodles on that Tuesday of Extra Life Week. Yeah. Maybe auctioning off some of the uh, some of the. Drawings. I'm all about that. Uh, getting those uh, signed by various folks as well. Uh, Emmy Tanji will be designing the Extra Life T-shirt for this year. We'll have those up for sale as soon as we can, and we'll be sharing these links out uh, everywhere. In the meantime, you can go to uh, dnd.wizards.com slash extra life to find out more details. The DD Extra Life team page is also up at Extra Life as well. Uh, last year, we did a, a couple of adventures on the DMs Guild. We did uh, the Total Package, of course. We did One Grung Above, and Sean Wood created uh, the Lost Kenku for the game that he ran on Extra Life Day. So uh, those are still up and all proceeds still go towards the cause. So feel free to pick those up at any time. Uh, this year we're working on, uh, I believe, several other adventures. Uh, Wizards of the Coast has sort of opened it up for employees to participate, to create material, put it on the DMs Guild. Uh, one of the adventures will be from uh, Dragon Plus. Uh, and that, that was the email I sent to Sean over, uh, over the weekend as well. So uh, look for possible illustration from Sean in, uh, in that We'll one. do something. In any case, more information on Extra Life will be coming soon. In the meantime, we've got our first answer. Oh, yes. So what, uh, what golem or elemental are we looking at here? This is the cup of noodle golem. Aw. His hands are made out of chopsticks. 
And he didn't plan ahead when he wrote noodles on his cup. <laughs> <laughs> no Always judgment. Plan no ahead, judgment. Kids. <laughs> so the backside continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just wraps around. Just imagine that it's there. It's a cup of noodles. Nude. <laughs> well, we didn't. It's copyright, right? I mean, we didn't want to like. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, want to yeah. infringe on. Yeah. The great Cup of Noodles Corporation's trademark. If you, oh, good point. See. <laughs> Thank Dangerous. you. Take it Don't ahead. Mess with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you attack a Cup of Noodles, does the hot liquid come? Yeah, and out he scolds you. Oh. But it's right out of the top of his head. Oh. Uh, but you get some noodles out yeah. of it, so it's pretty good. I imagine he could also blind you with the flavor packet. Well, his hands are really pointy chopsticks yeah. as well. Very Edward. Yeah, it's a bit Edward. That's right. He could just sort of throw the flavor packet in your eyes like sand. Bre yeah, breath left. That'd, yeah, it'd burn. Very dirty, spicy. Dirty fighting. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, good as it's ever going to get. <laughs> Spoken with confidence. <laughs> Came out way more disturbing than you would think. Oh, what are those things? Flumps. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be that disturbing, <laughs> but you know what? That's part of concept okay. art. Sean, for the love of God, please explain what we're it's looking a at. It's golem from the plane of flumps. It is a golem made of flumps. Wow. Ah. Some cruel so-and-so put that thing together, sewed a bunch of flumps together. Uh, he's almost like shaped like a ninja turtle, which I like. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit, I could see that. Is that? It's not Hasbro, is it? Can we even? No, 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 no. Think we you mean Transformer. I meant it looks like a Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Monk Turtles. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they like might that. be teenagers, teenage yeah, Monk Turtles. Yeah, we are. Yes. So, uh, uh, so right. yes, we've got a, a trio here. We've got a uh, chocolate bar, a uh, golem swarm, and a uh, marshmallow elemental, and a uh, graham cracker golem for para elemental s'more. Now, are they natural allies, or do they know that if they ever occupy the same space, well, it's no, it's the end for them? I I put different faces on the chocolate things, and I, it, given more uh, more time, it's going to have the different different areas say different things, and one of them is like, is that a fire elemental? Keep him away from us, man! <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> so, so have they joined together, like, Constructicons? I guess they do. Nicely right. done. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely yeah. done, yeah. sir. You're Thank welcome. you for staying on brand. <laughs> <laughs> Time Cop, does that count as a good, uh, more sci-fi Anything? Fantasy. Does it count as a good anything? Fantasy, well, Time they, could, they couldn't yeah. occupy the same space, right? Or they they, right, right, if they touch, they disappear. But now I'm grasping at straws for good fantasy movies between. There's I'm going to say tons. the same thing I did back in the office, and that's Brotherhood of the Wolf. Oh, that's good. Brotherhood of the Very Wolf. Good. That came before? That came Polish before, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm, it's late 90s, yeah. All mm. right. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> See, how can you make such a broad statement when you haven't done the research? So now I have now I have stuff though. You see how that worked? <laughs> yeah, it's a Machiavellian kind of type of deal. There's yes. <laughs> there's 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 several important homework assignments within the department. Uh, Greg Tito has yet to watch any Predator movie, Whoa, uh, which I wow. find practically a crime. Yeah, I rate Predator as one of the greatest movies ever made, easily, and I will argue what? this to the death. Yeah, no, I concur. It's On a air? solid action from start to finish. <laughs> 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 Off air. <laughs> uh, yeah, Die Hard, Predator. Oh, yeah. Just good. Uh, Same director, good, so. Yeah. Good Was stuff. it? Yeah, John yeah. McTiernan. Oh, there you go. Movie history, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, here we're getting close to the top of the hour, so I will uh, say thank you all so, so much for participating in another round of, uh, of Dungeons and uh, Doodles. Uh, again, for everyone watching Dragon Plus livestream every Tuesday, 2 p.m., we dive into uh, content from the Dragon Plus, our online magazine app on iOS, Android, and DragonMag.com for free, as always. Uh, we include a cartoon component in each issue, or try to, uh, including the roundup from our Dungeons and Doodles. So uh, we hope you enjoyed taking a peek at the Doodles this time. If you want to uh, download them, look for them in the next issue as well. We put them up in PDF format. 
Uh, in uh, we'll be back again in a in a month for another another doodle session. So wait, if we do this every month, yes, and Dragon Plus only comes out every two month months. and a half, two months. Yes, do we get like two shows worth of doodles in there? Is yes. that like a big? We wow, do. that's you can't beat that. <laughs> what are you guys waiting for? Go get that right now. Go, yes, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I do archive all the physical copies. So for for extra life, we'll find a way. We'll put them out as uh, as donation rewards. Donate any amount, and as long as we still have copies available, we'll get those out to uh, to our donors. Uh, I'll I'll get that on. I'll I'll create my own extra life page. I'll put that out as an incentive reward. I'm picturing uh, you in a basement with white gloves on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like putting I mean, each one in this folio. Yep. Sliding <laughs> it in. Museum grade whatever. Or one <laughs> or one bulging manila folder. Yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> my, it's like my comic book, like Mylar uh, Yeah, acid free boxes. boxes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We all, this is ap <laughs> <laughs> apropos of, of uh, sending things out. the only time in my life I will ever be boarded in bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so happened I, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> so in, in my life. <laughs> we were sure. also clearing out our archives, and we came upon uh, quite, quite a few back issues of physical copies of Dragon Magazine. Uh, and uh, we, we have a, a copy archived already for... Uh, for our archives, but we still have extra copies, so we'll we'll send those out as uh, donation gifts as as well. So you get a random issue of Dragon, Dragon for for the Dragon Plus live stream. Should we show? Should we show? The Eighty-seven. Some got, these are uh, some of the old covers as really well. Really awesome. So the good cover, the one, my favorite cover, that right there. Great. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is like one of my great. favorites. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Um, Oh, it's Daniel Horn. Horn. Daniel Horn. Daniel Horn. Daniel yeah. Horn yeah. still does really great monster paintings these days, folks. Yeah. Why is this Check your out Daniel cover? Horn's work. Or it's a fantastic. favorite cover of yours. It's just good. And look what's on the back. <laughs> One of my favorite artists on the back, uh, Angus McBride's Lord of the Rings piece, with A. Win the Witch King. So this is a double, double feature, folks. You want this. <laughs> Why am I trying to sell this? I don't, and, know. I don't know. And it's been touched. And they, by they can't. Like that's that's <laughs> So just we for fun, give we'll, give, uh, we'll give some copies out of Dragon <laughs> Magazine to our Extra Life donors as well. Uh, again, D&D News is off this week. Uh, we'll be back at 4 p.m. Pacific with Dice Camera Action. Uh, Dungeons & Doodles will be back next month. Next week, we will be back on the Dragon Plus live stream with Jeremy Crawford, returning to answer more of your uh, design development style questions for creating material. Uh, as always, thank you to our viewers for spending an hour of your day with us. Clearly, chat yeah. was hungry today. Yeah. So Go get some food. Yes. Please, <laughs> they all skip one. Yeah. Eat. yeah. <laughs> please, uh, please enjoy your your dinner. As always, thank you to our followers, to our subscribers. Thank you so much to our moderators, and thanks as always to everyone uh, who has contributed to Extra Life. Or please consider uh, doing so for a good cause. All right. Well, in, in that case. Uh, thank you to our artists, Stan, Tyler Jacobson, and Sean Wood for joining hey, everybody. us. Everybody, thank, thank you. Well done. Oh. Good drawing. Lovely Good. as always. <laughs> I say, quiet, what? <laughs> yes. We'll be back next week and uh, come back in an hour for Dice Camera Action. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> it's a severed hand of Pelham. Oh, God. Yeah, this, this series that McBride did. Which one? Let me see.